hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be all the products that I was loving in the month of August I don't have tons of stuff but I do have a quite a bit or some items that I just noticed that I was using a lot or that I just gravitated towards a lot in the month of August I know last month I kept saying like June or something so I got it right this time so I'm first gonna start off with a non beauty product and this is actually a show that I have been beyond obsessed like I've been just like binge watching these shows and I was actually watching one on my phone as I was getting ready today I found these shows um, on YouTube which obviously you can watch them as well but they are actually aired through bio life or bio time whatever it's called on the regular TV these shows are called I survived and these shows are intense so pretty much what it is it's just either one I mean two to three stories about people telling their story of how they survived and I'm telling you after you watch these shows it will change the way you look at the world it's like it just kind of opens your eyes and it makes you think of how much craziness is out there all these shows are real people you know they're not paid actors or anything like that these some of these stories are super sad and i've shed a couple of tears with some of these i absolutely love this show i used to watch it years ago and then I totally forgot about it I remembered and then I started watching them again on YouTube and they're just they're pretty intense if you guys want to watch any of these episodes um, I will have a link to the channel from where I watch them from but there's tons of other vid videos these are just the ones that have been like kind of like the best quality that I found but yeah if you guys like you know survival shows or things like that then you will definitely enjoy the show the next thing that I wanted to talk about is my camera and this is another non-beauty related item. This is the Sony A5100. I got this about I think two weeks ago. I, I had just been dying to get my hands on this camera and I finally got it. It is the perfect makeup selfie camera. This is literally what I wanted it for which may sound a little bit vain. But it's just because I want to try and invest more into my beauty channel. I eventually want to upgrade my camera, lighting, etc. But for the meantime, I just really wanted to get this camera. And this is also a really good vlogging camera, which I've never vlogged on my channel. And I kind of want to, maybe not every day because I literally don't do anything. I'm always home. But maybe on the weekends when I do go out with friends or my boyfriend and my daughter, I can vlog something. So let me know if you guys would be interested in maybe seeing some vlogs and I might do them. So the first beauty item that I have just been loving this month is the Real Techniques, um, what is this, the sculpting brush. And this is what it looks like. I've had this for a while and I first used it just to contour my cheeks and then I started to use it with my foundation and I love it for my foundation. It does sculpt out your cheekbones pretty nicely but it doesn't chisel them out and sometimes that's what I'm looking for. But this is perfect for your foundation. If you just dot it all over your face and you go in with this and just push it into your skin and then, you know, just blend it out. It, it just blends it out perfectly for you. I love it because it also gets right in between um, my eyebrows and around my brows. Which sometimes that's a pain with like flat top kabuki brushes because they'll just, you know take the fleekness off your brow. So I've really been loving this brush and again it's by Real Techniques and yeah I just love this. Another item that I've also been loving a lot this month is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture, Shadow Couture World Traveler. I know that this isn't like super new but it is fairly new and I have done already some looks using this palette and I'm going to continue to do looks with this palette just because I feel like there's so many looks that I can create and I just want to be able to share that with you 
if maybe you're interested in the palette and you're still debating on it or if you have the palette and you're just stuck with um, you know creating a certain look I want to try and create more looks with this so if you guys are interested in seeing more looks definitely let me know and I will get those out for you but yeah I just love these because they're really creamy they're super mega intense and the colors are absolutely gorgeous I only own two makeup palettes by Anastasia that really hills and so when I saw this it was just like calling my name so I had to pick it up and I really don't regret it. It's I think it's worth what like the 30 bucks because you get quite a few shadows um, here versus buying them, you know, like the single hot pots. So yeah, I've been loving this palette. Another beauty product that I have been in love with is the e.l.f. Mineral Pressed Blush. And this is in the color Cabo Cabana. This is such a gorgeous blush. I have so many e.l.f. blushes. But out, of, but out of all the ones that I have, I seriously have been using this for maybe like a week straight. I haven't used any other blush. This is what I have on my cheeks today. And it is that perfect peachy, mauve type of color. It is absolutely gorgeous. It does have a little bit of like gold flex in it. But when you apply it to the skin, you can't see that. I mean, you can't see the gold flex. They just they kind of disappear. It is so creamy and it's so pigmented and I think these are only about $3. I just love this blush. If you're my skin tone to maybe deep, I think you're going to love this just because it complements, you know, us darker tanned girls so much better and I just love it. Another product that I've also been loving is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I know that this is in you. This is like old school, like super old school. Like I am the last person to use this. But a few weeks ago when I went to Walmart, I was looking for a new mascara. And a lot of people said that this is an amazing mascara. I hear so many people raving about it. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of mascaras just because I wear falsies on a daily basis. But I always want to look for a good mascara to make my, lo my lower lashes really long. And this is just like heaven in a bottle. This makes my bottom lashes so long, so voluminous, and so thick without making them clumpy because I hate having like spidery lashes and the days where I want to opt out for falsies which is kind of rare I actually just you know put this on maybe two layers and I don't have the longest lashes but it makes them really nice and full and I just love it it's a really really good mascara so thanks to everyone that recommended it, recommended it to me I can't speak today this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I know that I just did a Waste or Worth It Wednesday video on this foundation, but I had had it for a couple of days before that. And let me just tell you, I haven't been wearing any other foundation since I bought this. This is what I've been wearing nonstop. And I know that it's not the great, the greatest foundation for oily skin, but I still love it. I love how it wears. It's what's on my skin today. And I love it because it's so lightweight. I don't feel like I have a pound of foundation on my skin. And it's buildable. So you can build it up to full coverage if you need that full coverage. I need a little bit more around here where I have like past like acne scars. So I just take a little extra pump and just place it there, dot it on my face. And then I go in with my Real Techniques blush or brush. <laughs> and I just buff everything in and i just been loving these. Another thing that I've also been in love with, and I know, I'm sorry, this is like disgusting. I just, I was too much of a way wanted to wash this, not gonna lie. I don't even remember now what brand this is, but I got it from Walmart for like a dollar. And I got it because it reminded me a lot of the MAC um, blending brush, or what the heck, of the Beauty Blender. So I decided to pick it up. I tried to um, make it wet or wet it like the Beauty Blender, and it doesn't work that way. But what I love this for is when I'm done with my makeup, I'll spritz my face with a makeup setting spray or maybe like a MAC Fix Fluid Plus if I'm wearing powder and I'll just press this all over or I'll press that um, setting spray into my skin with this and it just makes my skin feel so like dewy and fresh and clean. And plus when I over powder my face and I don't want to look too powdery, 
this just helps you know push all the product into my skin and then it just looks really nice and blended and for the last two products that I have been loving this is the so Susan statement skin highlighting crayon I did get this in my boxycharm box and you guys saw me unboxing that box if you haven't I will have a link up here so you can see that not gonna lie when I first got this I really wasn't interested in it I'm not a huge fan of like highlighting crayons or like liquid highlighters but when I tried this a couple of days ago and I applied it to my cheekbones I was so impressed by the way that it blended out and honestly even if you use this by itself without you know setting it with another highlight this is such a gorgeous crayon. It it almost looks like your skin is like wet. I don't even know how to explain it. It is so pretty. If you did get this in your boxy charm and maybe you're not using it, use it. I think you're really really going to love it. This is in the color Starlights. And let me just give you a swatch on this. So that is it right there. It does have more of like that white um you know finish to it or that white highlight to it which i honestly don't love too much because of my skin color but when you set it with another highlight it just looks so beautiful and the one that i've been loving to apply it on top of that is the laura mercier highlights um, it's a matte radiance baked powder and this is in zero one this is such a gorgeous highlight this is what I'm wearing on my cheekbones today along with the crayon underneath. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it is just the most gorgeous highlights. And I live for a good highlight, so these two are just like a match made in heaven. Alright, so that is it for my August favorites. I know that they weren't a lot, but again, I just really truly show you guys what I noticed that I've been using um, for the month of August. And I like to keep them tracked on my phone just so I don't think that I'm adding something when I really wasn't using it. So I do keep them tracked on my phone and I just write them down and remember, okay, this is what I've been using a lot, etc., etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, as always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video.